Okay, my peeps. We are going to make this honey pecan pie together. This would be my first and last cooking video. So, here are my eggs. Here's my one cup of chopped pecans. my pie shell okay so first we need one cup of honey and I bought this at the farmers market over the summer so hopefully you need to make sure you use pure honey honest to God I have no idea how to figure out if it's pure from what I read on the internet if you drop it in water, it's supposed to sink and not mix with water. So, I don't know. I know this is pure because it's got a honeycomb in it. So, if I can get the honeycomb out. There it is. Um, I need a plate. I did buy some honey at the store, but I don't know, I don't know if it's pure or not, so I don't know how to get this out other than just scoop it out. This is like, I have no idea. That looks like it's about a cup, probably a little more. Here. Tastes good. Well, actually, that was a little less. So I need to add some of my honey that I bought at the store. First, I need to mix my eggs before I put that honey on the fire. Now, I found this recipe at a couple of different places online, and all of them said, I know it sounds strange, but this will work. So, with that being said, nobody ever said you had to use electric mixers. So, since I have a lot of honey and a lot of eggs, I'm not going to use an electric mixer because they say to beat it, not mix it. <clears throat> so, and also, they also, all of the recipes said that honey will start boiling really fast, so you got to really watch it so you don't scorch it. Made in Little Rock. One of the ways they said to test for pure honey is to drop it in warm water. 
but let's see what happens. Bear with me. Okay. Supposedly, if you drop it in warm water, it should just sink right to the bottom and not mix with the water. <clears throat> if it mixes with the water, then it's not pure honey. Here's the stuff I got. From the farmer's market. Hey, it just went right to the bottom. Didn't mix at all. So I guess that is pure honey. It's just crystallized a little bit. Probably because it's been in my cupboard since, I don't know, this summer. This is the stuff I bought at the grocery store that's from Little Rock. Yep. It's not mixing with the water at all. It just sank straight to the bottom. So, I guess it is. Mmm, it's good. Okay. I don't need very much more, just a little bit. I'm supposed to use one cup of honey. Here's, here's the little pan I'm going to use for the honey. I'm supposed to pour the honey from the pan into the eggs. And then I add my other ingredients. So, I had it sitting on the fire so it's hot. Now this has got some honeycomb in it because that honeycomb just kind of disintegrated in here. Now it says to make sure that you watch it and take it off of the fire just as soon as it starts boiling. Otherwise you will scorch your honey. So... Let's Oops. I can't. Oh, there we go. See the honey? I have no idea what you can see. There we go. It doesn't take it very long, that's for sure. It's getting ready to start boiling already, so. I would try and strain it and try and get some of these big pieces out, though. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out for me very well either. Oh, yeah, there's one. Getting ready to start bubbling. Of 
trying to get some of these big pieces of honeycomb out of here that broke off of that honey. It sure does turn liquid really fast. I have my fire set on about medium. Uh, between medium and medium high because my stove sucks honey hole. But on a good stove, it's probably you probably just need to have it on medium. Just starting to bubble. As soon as it starts boiling, I'm going to take it off of the stove. It said to watch it careful because you don't want it to scorch. It doesn't say a roaring boil, it just says when it starts to boil. So you can see. See the edges are boiling? I think that's probably close. The consistency is like water. So I'm going to fire off, I'm going to take it off. Because it's boiling now. in real slow. Just a thin stream. It must be stirring fast enough because the eggs are not scrambling. So that's good. Okay. Look at that. Just like it's supposed to be. Oh, there it is. Just like it's supposed to be. Eggs did not scramble. So, I guess you do not have to use a mixer. Which is good. So now we need to add uh, the rest of our ingredients, which is the vanilla, three tablespoons of butter. 
you know, and for the heart healthy people, I'm sure you can use margarine. I, however, use butter. Everything's better with butter. <clears throat> and you know that's the truth.